There is nothing I can say about luxury cruise company Seabourn that hasn't already been said. There are no superlatives left to describe their six-star mega yacht experience, so I won't try and think of any, only to say we are avid fans of their service, fine ships and exceptional food. So it comes as little surprise that they would eventually team up with some huge name in the culinary world to give guests new gastronomic experiences they can crow about to their shore-stranded friends, and also to further enhance the Seabourn brand with somebody who shares their insistence on expertise, precision and uncompromising quality. So what better partner for an American luxury brand than an American luxury chef with seven Michelin stars, Thomas Keller. Keller needs no introduction. His notoriety as an innovative and exemplary craftsman is globally celebrated. No, raved about. Have Seaborn pulled a huge, tasty rabbit out of their perfectly fitting hats? We were lucky enough to sample some of Keller's Seaborn creations ourselves on a recent cruise on the Odyssey. Seaborn were trying new ideas with an intention to roll out a full Keller experience fleet-wide in the coming year. So, as well-watered and carefully pampered guinea pigs, what did we think of these initial dishes? Our first tasting was a special menu in the restaurant, Seaborn's default evening venue. The menu promised much, but did it deliver? First, the terrine of moulard duck foie gras. You don't expect foie gras to be wrapped in cake, do you? Being grainy and a little too sweet, the black truffle pan de gêne outer was perhaps a texture too far? For me, it didn't sit well with the salty smooth foie gras. The compressed Asian pears and its compote were a creamy and delicious addition. The poached lobster was challenging. The vegetable biscuit rested in was delicious and the huge salty lardons suited the lobster well. But the lobster itself was naked and almost too soft, the claw meat verging on slimy. This was a hit and miss dish. The presentation of the champagne and Granny Smith apple trifle was immaculate and much more like we'd come to expect. The paper-thin freeze-dried apple was strong flavoured and dissolved satisfyingly in the mouth. The trifle was, well, a trifle. Delicious, fruity, but only slightly transcending the ordinary. Overall, mixed feelings about the combinations and tastes of each course. Next, Seaborn laid on a trio of special family-style dinner evenings in the Colonnade, their alfresco-focused dining venue mostly used for breakfast and lunch. The menu was simpler, focused on homely food that eschews delicacy for function and bolder taste, prepared in front of your eyes by an army of bustling chefs. The concept is refreshing, but may have alienated some of the more seasoned seaborne travellers with its dive-in approach to serving yourself from a large bowl placed in the middle of your table. This was definitely family style. It worked okay for us, as we were on our own on a table of two. But it would also work if you were, say, a family of five, used to sharing together. But for a table of six people who barely know each other, each with their own customs, habits and dining requirements, hmm, not so sure. The food also was a mixed bag. As you can see from this video, it was certainly simple and as individual components, each serving was tasty, but some we found to be strange bedfellows. It didn't feel like food from a world-renowned chef. It didn't feel special enough. If ordinary is what they were aiming for, they hit the target perfectly. On to dinner three, back in the restaurant. Keller is definitely more at home in this venue. The yellowtail starter was a definite step up from the foie gras. Certainly a Michelin star starter as we would recognize. We were advised the pork tenderloin would be very pink but cooked thoroughly. It indeed looked almost raw but without a doubt this was the best pork I've ever tasted. Soft, salty and utterly delicious. The spiced French prunes were delicious too. 
melt in the mouth and full of sweet flavour. Lastly, the frangipan tart was, well, a frangipan tart. It didn't last long on the plate. All great ideas take time to bed down, time to settle in and establish. Thomas Keller for Seaborn Concept is a good idea, but is not yet fully realised. What it is, though, is a pairing of two world-famous partners, both at the top of their game, like a musical supergroup or a celebrity marriage. They can't afford for it to fail. Given time, I'm in no doubt that it will be fabulously executed and the sum greater than its already fabulous parts. But, ultimately, will it suit the Seaborn faithful? I wouldn't like to call that one. <laughs>